We will also want to talk about the great season the Giants <laughs> had all year long. Uh, to do all of that, we bring in Giants president and CEO Larry Bear. Uh, Larry, great to see you. Uh, you know, let, let's let's first start with the controversial end to this wonderful season for the San Francisco Giants. It ended with Wilmer Flores being punched out by that first base umpire on a pretty obvious check swing. You were right there watching it, but you had a pretty good angle on things. How, how did you see it and how frustrating was it for you to have this game end on that call? Well, obviously it was frustrating and disappointing. I think uh, I think actually I was in the background of the shot of the camera shot. And I think I yeah. put my hand to my head or something. But, you know, it. look, I mean, there are thousands and thousands of calls during a season and there's, you know, hundreds of dozens and hundreds of calls in any game. So I don't think it's right for us to for, for us to dwell on that. Uh, as Gabe said, look, it's very disappointing. But in the end, um, have a lot of respect for the Dodgers. Uh, it was last night was something that was pretty magical. Um, I think a lot of folks that were in the ballpark kind of felt the spirit of Willie Mays and Sandy Colfax and Jackie Robinson and Willie McCovey. It was it was magical. It was an incredible season. Um, I think the sting of last night's loss uh, will morph over time and maybe in the coming hours and days to uh, gratitude and appreciation for what we were able to accomplish on the field and off the field. You know, and I um, want to remind you, at the very beginning of the season, we had 8,000 people socially distanced in the ballpark. <laughs> yeah, so sure. we've come a long way. Hey, you certainly have, and obviously that, I think, is what led to a lot of the electricity that you felt in the city and at the stadium, you know, 42,000 plus there, especially after the year and a half that we've all had. But, but Larry, when you kind of sit down and you look at this season, I mean, there were not, expect, expectations were not high for this team when the season started. Right. I mean, it was about, uh, Heather, it was about, uh, I don't know, 75 game uh, win 75 wins was the prediction somewhere in there the experts and you know the fact we got to 107 wins and the fact that you know Gabe Kapler and Farhan Zaidi and and the Scott Harris and the group were able to construct this blend and it was really beautiful to watch because it was almost like an orchestra working together because you had the veterans like Buster Posey and Brandon Crawford Brandon Belt Evan Longoria Johnny Cueto working with the, the younger players. And most of the players were younger players, more inexperienced. And to see that come together, uh, it doesn't always happen in sports. It's hard. And uh, I think the fans saw it, and it was there was a lot of joy that um, and we're very appreciative for. This was an absolutely thrilling series mm -hmm. from start to finish. <laughs> and it was hard for, for a lot of baseball fans to believe this was the first time that the Giants and Dodgers have faced off in the postseason. Uh, I mean, we, I, I can't wait to do it again. I mean, I don't know about you, Larry. I, you know, what, what, what did this it, playoff series mean for well, this story it, rivalry? It, it was incredible. It was, you know, Vince Scully, who I actually had a chance to speak with on the phone yesterday because um, I wanted to thank him for this amazing tweet he sent. Uh, you know, 94 years old and Dodger announcer for 70 years or so, um, you know, called it the most consequential game of our rivalry. And the rivalry goes back 130 plus years. And the first ever true playoff game, pure playoff game. So from that standpoint, I mean, come on. Um, you know, as, as disappointing as it was at the end, uh, the, the, the fact that we were all part of history. And I, I do think that uh, children and our children, grandchildren, friends will be saying years from now, you know, we were part of it, enjoyed that 107 get win season, uh, even though uh, we did not get, get further to the World Series. Yeah, and you tip your cap to those Dodgers. That, that is a good baseball yeah, team. Yeah, it is. Do we have yeah, to tip our for cap sure. to them? Okay, anyway. Uh, <laughs> we'll tip our caps, we'll, but we'll we're do that excited we'll do it later. about next year. <laughs> that's right, that's right. That's right. Okay, so you're talking about next year. I mean, you've got some decisions to make, Larry. Talk a little bit about what you'll be doing over the next few months. Well, like you know, like every offseason, you, you make your some choices, but the great thing is, uh, you know, there's there's some data from where we where we were this year that uh, was just very positive. You know, from some of the performances of young players that really you know had their first chance to break in this year, and then we have other players coming through the minor leagues that'll be that'll be um, emerging like some of the players this year uh, emerged. I mean, Camilo Duvall, who is such a wonderful story, who yes, he gave up the the run in the ninth inning, but um, he also saved our season in, in earlier games. And, you know, it's players like that that we have a lot of love for that have emerged. And it's going to be a, you know, 
every year is a different season and you have to you go back a little bit to square one but we, we're super excited about uh, what this means for 2022 and beyond for the Giants yeah and can we just say boy really uh was amazing to see California's own Logan Webb too Larry really appreciate great. your oh. time today thank Thanks, you Larry. so much congratulations on a great season